No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. All right, I'm here with Ryan from Immersive Media, and he's gonna tell us about some uh, exciting things that his company's doing with 360 degree video. Yeah, we do, uh, we do 360 degree video, and we do it kind of end to end. We create camera systems, we create the recorders to record the streams off the cameras, uh, the stitching software solutions. And today we're, we're, we're showing our IM Live system one of our camera systems. We're actually camera agnostic. It doesn't matter what camera array you're shooting with. If you've created an array, if you have a, a red array, any, you know, um, any type of camera you've put in a circle and you've been able to have overlap and, and capture a sphere, uh, we can create a calibration model for that camera head that can be uh, stitched live by this unit. So for instance, if you've got uh, a GoPro array, you know, uh, we can feed them into the IM Live system and stitch live on the fly and uh, we can send that anywhere. So um, it's got a 6G SDI out to send to broadcast. At the same time, that IM Live system is sending that SDI feed to the broadcast truck. And so in the broadcast truck, with all the different uh, camera feeds up there, the director is actually able to you know, cut to the 360 camera. And then they control the 360 camera that was live to television broadcast. It's, it's recording and archiving the footage. It's creating a ProRes master right on the fly. And that's one of the huge features of the system today that, that we're pretty proud of. We've also got uh, live to the Oculus Rift. And where this is very cool for, you know, VR filmmakers, the, um, the director can actually now, you know, call action from, from within the headset. So as, as the, the productions kind of grow in size, you know, in the past, you'd have to, um, you know, wait a little bit of time, do the stitching, all that data management to see if you got the shot. So we're going to start seeing directors wanting to shoot 360 degree music videos and movies and they're going to be wearing that on set and, and watching it live as you're recording. As you're recording it. And we'll give a, you know, we'll give a, a Gear VR to continuity, to the producers, you know, every, anyone who feels they need to see a preview of what's going on can also be watching it, uh, you know, live in the, in the VR space. Okay, and, and the media you're recording to, it's just uh, your basic SSD drives, right? It's not a proprietary media in any way. No, um, it, they're just uh, standard hard drives. The, um, the, the, any, any camera, it always gets encapsulated into what we call an IMR file. It gets chunked into this uh, proprietary format. Uh, in case later on you want to go back and, and refinesse the stitching, that's our proprietary format. So it's, it's, it's kind of archiving that way. It's writing ProRes uh, 4K stitched equal rectangular um, and it's broadcasting live so and, and and for people who don't know when you're when you're mentioning stitching that's that's attaching the feed from one camera to the next camera to the next camera to the next and, and making it one cohesive image correct yeah so you're seeing all uh, what did you say seven of the cameras kind of stretched out across one video file right yeah that's that's all six Okay, Ryan, can you show us a few of the exciting things happening with the post workflow with your IM Live system? We've got uh, a couple cool tool sets here uh, with the Tim Dashwood uh, Cinema Solution Stereo VR Toolbox. But one of the very cool parts of this, this toolbox is the live Oculus um, preview. So this is a huge time saver because uh, in the past you've had to output a file, encode the file, put it on a device, take a look at your edit uh, and analyze it, see if there was any, any issues with it, any stitching errors that maybe you didn't notice before that really stand out in the VR. Um, this allows you to see the canvas live in the VR as you're editing, the reorientation of the sphere. This is very important um, for when you go cut to cut and say there's a point of interest in different cuts, um, that you want to lead the viewer's eye. You don't want a point of interest in front of somebody and then the, edit, the next edit point, that point of interest is now behind the person. Um, so you want to reorientate the sphere and uh, lead the viewer uh, in the way that you want to lead them or whatever the, the creative vi vision is for the director. Rotating the sphere that you're talking about is, is allowing them to, when you cut to the next shot, it's already pointed at exactly what you want them to look at. Is yeah. that, am I understanding that? That's absolutely right. How do people experience this 360 degree video that we've made? Well, we have a, a, a beautiful content distribution uh, platform that allows you to distribute the, the, the VR experience in, in every way that you would traditionally 
uh, distribute normal video. So it's important to know that, that this form of video can be pushed in the same way that any other video can be pushed. It actually gets uh, spit out to iOS, Android, uh, there in, within our app there's a cardboard mode. And it, this, is, this is the cardboard here. So, and you just put your phone inside and uh, within the app you hit the side-by-side -side mode, put it on and look around and, and it puts you in the experience. So th this is the most affordable way to kind of just jump in and check out VR. Um, the Gear VR is also another option that we have. This is a little bit more on the pricier side, higher resolution, very good experience. Another exciting thing that you can do with it is have an experience on your iPad. You recently shot a, a music video, right? That, yeah. you can, that you can actually see now on an iPad. Absolutely, yeah. We did a, uh, a music video for Taylor Swift uh, a few months back of her, her new video. And uh, on, on iPhones or iPads or, or any Android uh, tablet device, you can actually you know grab the iPhone iPad, move it around, and and watch uh, you know the video and explore the space. You can use your finger, or you know yeah, move it around. All right. If you're excited about experiencing a 360 degree video, Ryan has agreed to help us out, and we've made an additional video that you can see in the link that we'll post in this article. All right. Thank you very much, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.